Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Had a question from Michael Tanksley on our Facebook page asking about echo decay. Instead of getting quieter, which is the traditional route, he'd like it to get louder on the decay. Let me show you how I do that in Adobe Audition. Here's a clip I recorded earlier. Echo intensity. Now I'm just going to head to the end of that clip, select and go into edit, insert, silence. Put a silence in there of 10 seconds so that there's enough room for the echo to decay. Then I'll select the whole wave by double clicking anywhere and go into the effects menu, delay and echo, echo. Now I'll just go for the default preset. You'll notice first of all, let's look over here at the successive echo equalization. Don't worry too much about what it does at the moment. Let's just put everything on zero here. So let me do that right now. And then the next thing after setting that all to neutral is to look at the feedback levels. I'm going to put the feedback levels on both left and right channels to 100%. And don't worry about the delay time or the echo level. Now when I play this back in preview, you'll notice the echo continues at exactly the same volume. Let's listen now. Echo, echo intensity. You notice that no change in the echo's volume. Let me actually apply the effect and you'll see, there we go, just a flat line of echo continuing off into the distance for infinity. Let me undo that with Control or Command Z if you're on the Mac and then go back into the effects menu, delay an echo, echo, and now I've got the feedback levels still there at 100%, but we're going to look at the successive echo equalization, and I'm simply going to increase this now by one on each channel. Now, if you wanted to change the frequencies at which your echo was going, this is an advanced ninja tip, uh, then you can maybe increase some frequencies and not others if you want a treble echo or a bass echo or a mid-range echo, but I'm just going to do it across the board and hit apply. And now you'll see it getting louder, but much louder until eventually it just completely peaks right the way off the uh, the board there and uh, probably blow your speakers out if you have them too loud. So let's have a quick listen now. Echo. And there you go, you can hear it starting to distort. So maybe a tip there, if I command Z it, undo it, is to turn the initial piece that you're going to add the echo to down by using this lovely uh, control here, and that does it instantly. Let's try adding that effect again. Delay an echo, echo, and click apply. And you can see now it goes on for some way before it starts to distort again. Now the reason it's increasing differently on the different channels is because not all the settings were set exactly the same on both channels. As you can see here, delay time on the left channel is different to the right channel. And that is the reason why you're getting a different increase in volume on both left and right. Well, Michael, I hope this answers your question. And I hope you as a viewer have found this tutorial handy. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you've got a question yourself, leave it in the comments below. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.